Hey there, Cloud here. Welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 World Change. For those of you who are new, hello, welcome. I just realized that I did not plug in my earbuds and I'm wearing them already, so yeah. I was wondering why I was so quiet. But uh, yeah, for those of you who are new, hello, welcome. World Change is basically where I am taking every single build challenge that I can think of, putting it on a wheel and spinning it till I feel like I'm no longer interested in it, and then taking it off. Uh, but no, realistic purposes, I am taking each build challenge, putting it on every single plot, and um, I'm basically just rebuilding each plot in the world. I know, terrible explanation, especially since I kept uh, messing it up every now and then, but you know what? It's fine. But for this build challenge, um, this is the seasonal townhouse challenge. We have four seasons. Uh, I will have a link to the playlist at the end of the video but essentially this is the summer townhouse this is the fall this is winter and now we are on spring i decided that i'm going to put a plant store at the bottom because i was kind of inspired my sister-in-law is currently opening a plant store she will be opening that later this year i do want to play it Put a plant store down here kind of make it like pretty and whatnot and then the upstairs that'll be like the living area for the person who owns the plant store and you know it'll be great i do want to keep the gray swatch because i want the plant store to feel kind of um but i want it to feel high class there we go <laughs> so maybe a brick wall would be kind of nice what should we have down out here though should we have like a red brick going on the red brick i feel like it looks nice but i don't know i think the grayish black one would be better Ooh, I, I really don't know. I'm really bad at like mixing and matching. I would prefer same tone, same textures, but at the same time, it's a floor and w walls. I'm not about to have the same flooring and walling. Walling? <laughs> but no, I'm not doing that. We do have to make it look like a plant store, so we have to make the outside look nice. So maybe we can have a display out here. Why did I look up table when I could just, I could just do this? What am I doing? Should we do something like that i do want like one of those chalkboards like something like this but like standing here <laughs> oh where can i find it oh there I, I i guess that'll work do i want it there i maybe right here instead it would be better off in this corner because this corner it doesn't really have much going on for it right now and maybe i can just put it like that so it's off to the side and we don't have to worry about the sims getting stuck on it right you're right yeah let's go with that but for this, I'm not entirely certain. This table, it is long enough and it fills the area, but I'm not sure if this is the color I want it to be, you know? Or instead of a table, I can just do something like this. I don't have to go crazy with my stuff. The problem is, what color scheme do I want to go for? Because first of all, I can't really go with the brown because then the, the grass looks dead. But then I don't know what else. So I, do I just put a bathtub? I love the bathtub. Don't get me wrong. One of my favorite plants to use. But can I use it? I don't know. Okay, does this look like something that would be in the plant store? I don't know. It feels a little too chaotic, I feel like. But then it really depends on where you're going, realistically. Of course, there would be a lot of the same plant. Like, it would be something like this, all lined up and ready for your picking and choosing. But uh, I'm not a fan of that. Well, maybe I could be. You know what? Let's, let's try that. Let's just do, undo all of this that I just did. And let's see what we can do. Okay, I think the outside looks very store-like. There's a lot of plants in rows and m multiples of the same plant, you know? I think this is nice. Okay, but let's go ahead and change the coloring of this because it just... I would like it to be a little more coherent. And these windows are a little too, too red for my liking. I do like this thing though. It can stay. And we can take turn this into a gray door. That way it looks a little bit nicer, you know? But let's figure out the walls first. As much as I would love, I would love for this to be centered with the door. I don't like it not being centered here. You know what? Just leave it. Just leave it. It's fine. We don't have to think about it, okay? We're just gonna paint the walls now. 
What am I gonna use though? I don't know. Should I just use the same one? I, I feel like I shouldn't. Should I just use another like grayish brick? Does that look nice? I don't think it looks as nice as I thought it did. Should I use like a, a solid color? I kind of want to keep it brick though. That way we can keep the black accents. But then that means I'd have to change this to black. Okay, I have changed the entirety. Oh, I didn't change completely. But I have pretty much changed the color scheme for the entirety of the house. It's not the best. It definitely does not scream spring. It screams black and white <laughs> but uh, it's fine okay so let's go ahead and just move on to the inside am i keeping the wallpaper most likely not it's very um not what i'm looking for i want it to be chic is chic the right term that i'm trying to look for i'm not sure Ooh, this is hard because i kind of want to put brick on the inside but at the same time i feel feel like that's not going to work this time as much as I would like it for it to because too much brick can be detrimental to the uh, decorational process okay okay so uh, I think I need a counter so let's go ahead and change the type to a store I forgot is it retail retail yes so we'll change the retail we get the cash edge. oh we need a counter first okay we can put the counter in the middle uh, does it not come oh my god i can i have a nicely colored counter please one that does not have a sun ex insignia please okay this should do for now okay so let's just try to figure out how we're gonna decorate this place okay so what i am currently thinking i'm thinking have the main store area be like out here right and then through the glass doors, this will be like where the propagation will be happening, all the repotting and all that stuff. And then outdoor outside, this will be where like all the mother plants are, like where they're all going to be like held and where they're going to be protected and all that stuff. I'm still trying to think about it, but so far it's not terrible, but it's not the best this is a terrible layout i think having these shelves here look nice i could even like kind of incorporate it a little bit into the wall that way it looks like it's built in i mean it could be better but you know what can you imagine working here and this is like right behind you you'd have to worry about like hitting your head or bumping into it like the entire time and that's just terrible in of itself i also kind of want to make everything like a white brown kind of thing i don't know i think it looks a little better to me i could be wrong though this however i don't like the counter i need i need to change it again but how is everyone doing today right now i am really tired i don't really know why no i do know why it's because i woke up early and then i ended up not getting enough sleep afterwards which is which sucks but it can't be helped at this point yeah none of these swatches are great and they will only have the four counters so unless i can i put a counter on here i mean can i put a cat <gasps> oh that changes everything wait 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 can i put it on an island though that's the question <gasps> okay okay this is great that means i'm not stuck with this anymore i can change it <gasps> this is perfect actually i just have to make sure i find the right kind of counter space that i want what if i bring it out one is that weird that, that's a little weird okay never mind i take it back or maybe it can work okay that's not terrible i'm not completely okay with it but i'm not mad at it so i'm gonna go ahead and keep it and we can even include a little stool for the cashier oh that's cute that way they're not bored and then we could add a laptop too that way the cashier can do whatever they want also over here and then they can just switch back to the to the cash register when they need to you know yeah i like that okay that's nice i do need to change the floors though the floors have got to go that's kind of nice i don't normally go for this wood but i kind of like it this side however i do kind of want to change it I'm just gonna keep it like that for now. It might change later, but uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, I'm liking this store. This is a nice store. Ooh, that means I can put a display in this middle area. Now that the counter's all the way that far out. The problem is, I don't remember how to get to the displays. Maybe something like this? And then put another plant in the middle? But what am I gonna put here? Because the, uh, the door handle's right here. That means they'll be going through this way. That means this way is cut off, right? <laughs> I'm not entirely certain how this door works. I rarely ever actually play after I build. Sometimes I do, but most of the time, no. 
Oh, I could use this table. This table isn't too bad. The question is, do I want to use this table? Because this table, it doesn't have the right watch that I'm really looking for. And I don't know if it'll clash with anything. Right now it's not, but it's not really blending in either, you know? Or I could just go with something like this. Now let's go ahead and put some shelves on this wall over here. I do want to keep some cohesitivity. Cohesitivity, is that even a word? Cohesion, there we go. I want to keep some cohesion okay so i'm gonna do use the same table the problem is this is gonna bother me so i might delete that bring it all the way out like that and then just kind of place them next to each other like this see and we even ended up having enough space for another table exciting now this is gonna bother me but i'm gonna put a plant there so it kind of just cuts off so it'll be fine okay shelves are pretty much complete i'm probably gonna have to move this over here aren't i and i'm a little disappointed by it but it's fine now we just fill everything with plants basically do i want to put anything on this wall maybe a painting a painting would be nice over here okay now for the plants oh my gosh please just go where i want you to go no st stop sir Ma'am, the plant, please. I, I find you can go there. Okay, it's fine. Now, if only I could put price tags, but I'm not going to. That's a little too much. Okay, but I am curious, like, what kind of plants do y'all tend to like? Do you even like plants? Do you collect them? I collect a lot of plants. I have too many plants, in fact, but uh, I love every single one of them. But uh, sometimes it can get tedious. Is that the right word? It's a little tedious to have to water them every time, okay? The, this is the life of a plant lover, uh, but I definitely have a lot of plants. I don't really know how many I have. I would probably say around at least 30, but uh, I could be wrong. But if you do collect plants, what kind of plants do you like? What are your favorites? My personal favorite is the string of tears. Uh, I really like the hanging kind of plants. The plants that, you know, it just kind of hangs off and it's just like chilling and doing its own thing, you know? Those are really pretty. I really like them. That's why I like the string of tears, the string of pearls, the string of turtles. Uh, I have a string of turtles right next to me, actually. Ta-da! String of turtles. It kind of like looks like it could be Fold it, fold it around. If I just kind of put it like that, no, it's not going to work out. You see how I mean my hanging like that? I really like that look. And then I don't have my string of gears next to me. It's all the way next to the window and I'm too lazy to go get it. But I do have a variegated string of pearls. Look how pretty it is. See, it's so pretty. Granted, it's a little, it's dying a little bit. I think I'm either overwatering or underwatering. I can never tell with plants, to be perfectly honest. Usually to tell, you can just kind of like poke, I mean, not poke them. You can feel the leaves or in case for, of the string of pearls, you can like feel the bulbs. And if it's not squishy, then it has enough water. Uh, but hopefully it doesn't die because the variegated string of pearls, it's not really that cheap, but it's not expensive either, you know? Now, if you ask me like the scientific name for them and stuff i don't know <laughs> that goes completely over my head i prefer like the simpler names it's a lot easier i don't know i'm just not really a type of person who can memorize these things that easily okay okay i really like how this turned out so far it's really cute granted the walls i could probably live with a different kind of swatch or something i don't know maybe if i put up a painting okay that actually helps i don't know how but it did and then maybe a nice little rug that would be cute let's try that okay i think this is pretty much the storefront done i really like how it turned out i mean i could have changed a few things like this empty space is bothering the heck out of me but there's nothing i can really do when the stairs are there i could always just remove the stairs for the owner to come down easily i think it's best to just leave it there so it's fine oh my gosh i didn't even do anything here hold on hold on hold on we gotta put a bunch of these i didn't use any of these yet so i might as well right okay now the storefront is done completely furnished and all the plants are out and ready for sale we're gonna go ahead and move on to the propagation room slash prepping room slash potting room i don't know what to call it i'm just gonna go with all those names i realized i didn't get to use these at all in the store i just want to like lay them out everywhere that i can that way people see oh you do have the pot those but look how pretty they can be like ooh, i didn't even know it came in yellow if anything i like this pink one or this white one i think it's white 
this white one and this pink one those are my favorites and then this would be next okay i actually have absolutely no idea how to decorate this room it's a little confusing to me but um if i'm working off of my knowledge of the various nurseries that i've gone to then they usually just have plants everywhere and they normally like hold onto these plants to make sure that they are um fully capable of being sold at least six months is actually a lot of time when you think about it <gasps> wait this is a desert rose do I have a desert rose? Are you a desert rose? I don't remember. But if a desert rose can grow this big, ooh, I kind of can't wait for mine to grow then. I could be completely wrong about my being a desert rose and I'm just like all like excited for no reason when it's not even a desert rose, but it's fine. For those of you who do not know, propagation is when you cut the plant stem like at the uh the node and then you kind of like you're trying to grow roots from it basically oh i wish the wood tones didn't change that much along with the leaf color but basically you see what they did here in the sims right here it's in a, a glass of water i actually have something that i propagated also right here as you can see uh it's not really showing up well because of my my lights but that's okay but like the roots are growing really long and I actually have to transfer it to dirt soon because if I'm not giving it any food um it can die in the water from root rot look at it it's so pretty it's one of my favorite plants in my collection because i do love the white and the green it kind of like looks really pretty to me granted they all start looking the same to me after a while but um i like having a few of them every now and then just to add some difference but yeah i have to transfer this to dirt soon otherwise it's gonna die and i don't want it to die i like it i like all my plants <laughs> Okay, but what do I put on this wall? I do want to cover it with a something. I think with this room, I should probably turn it into a storage instead of an office because I don't think an office is going to fit in here all that comfortably. Comfortably? Comfortably? An office isn't going to fit in here comfortably. So I'm just going to put some random shelves in here. Maybe just something like that. We could just leave it like that. So these two areas are pretty much done. Let's go ahead and just kind of fix this area up. I like the red and all, but I don't know if it really goes with like the color scheme of the entire house. I think I'll just change it to green because it does stick out with the grayish kind of brick we have going on anyway. So it's okay if it's green. Okay, now how am I gonna do this? Because I would like to have like a mother plant. Like look at this monstera. That is so pretty. That could definitely be a mother plant right there. Legit though, if I could have a plant store, I'm not sure if I I'd be able to run it well because realistically I am lazy I know that much but there is also the fact that I have to grow so many plants and make sure that they're all like alive and well and all that jazz that's a lot of work I I'm not capable of doing such things, okay? It's a possibility, yeah, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to, okay? Maybe something like that. Don't get me wrong, it's not like great or whatever. <gasps> I didn't even know we had this. Oh wait, I like this one. This one's a lot better. Backyard is pretty much complete. It could be just a wee bit better. Maybe if I had a chair here or something, I don't really know. Maybe a small bench like this. That's kind of cute. Okay, I like that. And then we could fit another place plant here okay this backyard is actually really cute i really love it okay now we can finally move on to the upstairs <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and work on the kitchen now um i think i'm gonna go try a color scheme that i don't like ever use i'm gonna try green now green me and green that we we got we got a little bit of problems between the two of us but it, it's fine i wish this wood tile right here i wish it came in different colors I think it would look nice in like a lighter brown or something. I don't know. Right now, it's not really going well. I don't like tile, if I'm being perfectly honest. I only like tile in the bathroom. And uh, I know tile's usually in the kitchen also, but I just don't like tile in the kitchen. It's just weird to me. I don't know why. If I could change it, yeah, sure. You know I would. Normally, I like the linoleum. Like this linoleum, this one right here, this reminds me of my old kitchen in New York, I think. I feel like we use this one. I could be completely wrong. I don't even remember i just kind of decorated how i wanted it when i rebuilt my house before however i don't really know what to use now <laughs> i might
might just keep the linoleum for now and then just change it whenever I get the opportunity to do so. This is the kind of color green that I'm going to use for now. I really wish you were not as a slant. Is that weird? That's a little odd to me. What if we did something like that? Is that weird? Is that too much green? I don't know. Oh god. Okay, looking at this now, I realize that yes, this is definitely a lot of green. It might be a little too much green. Uh... Okay, looking at this, this is a very odd layout, I will admit. But it works for what I need it for, right? Why are there never any matching wood swatches, okay? Like, go with the th three main three or four swatches. You don't have to make it complicated by adding so many different variations of that same tone. I'm also gonna just move these chairs a little bit over. There we go. I think we can have it there. Delete that and then we can go ahead and start putting in the lighting. Ooh. Okay, I know I'm using a lot of... I think this is Cottage Living, but I really love the items in Cottage Living. They are so cute. And technically, if I continue to use the items in Cottage... Oh, I gotta delete this. But yeah, if I continue to use the items in cottage living then technically it'll be okay for me to go with the industrial kind of look because the industrial look it works better with the metal that's being used in cottage living and uh, I'm okay with this I do want a vent hood here though the question is which one do I use because the one I used to use is no longer usable okay after searching a very long while I finally found a rug that I can live with okay it's not the best I definitely would not pick this as the rug of my dreams but it fits what i need so i'm just gonna go with it okay don't mind me now do i like this green wallpaper that is another entirely different question that i'm going to have to figure out now actually this is starting to become the solid color challenge and um i'm not sure how i feel about this to be perfectly honest but um it's fine okay you know what i can live with this green okay i, I can live with it it's not terrible it could be a lot worse, but let's see if we can put any paintings or shelving or something to kind of cover this wall a little bit because right now it's looking a little bare and I would like for something to be there, you know? Maybe a kind of like staircase looking situation and then we can put like an end table or something. <laughs> okay, I have no idea if the Sims can even like sit there. I think they can. They should be able to. We're gonna assume they can fit. I don't like that the shelves don't match the top of this table, but you know what we can ignore it right right <laughs> okay if they couldn't get into it before they definitely cannot get into it now <laughs> oh dear me and my love for books i don't read as much as i used to like back in high school i used to be able to read like what a thick like fantasy books and i'd be able to finish it within like what three days now if you ask me to read a book i'm gonna be like uh you're kidding right which sucks i do miss reading but i don't have the patience for it anymore i used to have like an abundance of patience but now look where i am my abundance of patience is missing if you also see me constantly changing my uh seating position it's because um i've been doing this for about two hours now so i'm a little i'm a little tired my back is hurting because i'm not used to having my back straight let's be real i will finish this build like i usually do because normally it takes me three hours so i have have about maybe one more hour in me before I'm just like okay time to call it a day okay now I just need a painting and then we can move on to the living room and then the upstairs will be our final destination not the movie I do not want that happening here okay so I took a break I had to do something that kind of took my attention away from everything but let's go ahead and continue with this build I was uh, in the middle of building the living room I thought I did everything to be perfectly honest but uh clearly not so let's try to figure out what we're doing i kind of don't remember <laughs> at least we can have a tv like right here look how big that is i also forgot to put my cheats on so let's go to do that real quick okay look at that or should we put a fireplace i think a fireplace would be lovely right here maybe not that one. Oh, i don't know because the fireplace it could either make or break the whole area is the problem okay this brown is kind of nice i think that one is lovely but it doesn't match the rest of the fur this one matches a little bit better if only the these countertops were a little darker brown then it would look better but you know what it's fine this is what we're going to have to work with okay i don't know how i feel about this let's look at the colors real quick 
We'll bring in a little bit more green. Maybe a little too much green, but you know what? It's totally fine because this couch is nice. The problem is this couch is way too far from the... I want it to be right there, but if I put it there, then it's not centered here. And it won't be centered with the wall here. So I'm totally conflicted with the whole situation right now. See, then it becomes like that and... Oh, why? Okay. Maybe instead we do something like this and we put the armchairs over here, right? So then at least the couch is centered with the fireplace and the armchairs are here. And uh, we could just do something like this. Yes. And then we can move the door back. I don't know if they can go through this door to be perfectly honest, but you know what? It's fine. Okay, it definitely looks a lot better with the couch on this side over the armchairs. This is a style I haven't tried yet, but uh, I'm willing to work with this. Now these chairs, however, they're gonna have to go because I'm not really a fan of it. I think this love seat would suit the theme a little bit better and it brings in a little bit more color. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, come back. We're gonna use this set. Okay, this is a nice set. I personally think it's a nice set. Now, whether it goes with the cottage theme we're going with, I don't really know, but I can I can dream. Okay, that's not terrible. I, I can live with this. I don't know, this is very hard for me. Ooh, I definitely want a sculpture above. Oh, I can put a mirror. Okay, do we have a nice mirror that'll fit up here? I, this is not gonna work. I don't know how I feel about that brown. We'll, we'll come back to it. I would really love to have like one of these big tables the problem is i'm like trying to go for like a little bit more cottage for some reason like down here definitely does not yell cottage look at this it's a little more like upscale a little more grand and it looks it looks nice like I, I I used the word chic earlier and I don't even know if this is considered chic, okay? Upstairs, however, it becomes a lot more cottage or I guess it's cottage because I'm using cottage living. I, I, that's what I'm calling it. I'm sorry. You see, this brown, it matches with the fireplace. And I honestly, I don't like this brown. I'm, I, I really don't. I don't know why. It just looks weird. It looks off to me. Will cottage living save the day? See, this is kind of nice. I like this one. <gasps> oh, there we go. Okay, now if we can just get a green rug with a bit of brown, then it should work out. Please give me green. How have I never noticed this? The rugs in this game are so difficult to work with. Come on, give me something I can work with. Okay, the whole vibe is... It's, it's, it's throwing me off. I don't know what to do. This is not working. Get out of here. Goodbye. You two. Let's go for something red this time. I like this though. I could go with this. Should I Should I do it? Ooh, I really shouldn't. You see, I want like a bold red like this. Like this is kind of nice. But I feel like it's too bold. I, I don't know. I'm really bad with this. I always end up using like this kind of um fireplace. And I know I shouldn't. I use it everywhere. And I know that's a problem because realistically this wouldn't be everywhere. It's very old time. Me. I guess it's old time. I don't really know. But like it wouldn't fit in most apartments. Let's be real. However, I don't know what else to put there. So I'm, it's gonna stay. I definitely do want a bookshelf of sorts. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Okay, whether the Sims are able to fit through this or not, I, I don't know. I almost don't care. I hope they can. And I also don't know if I should put it towards the TV or towards the fireplace. Can I just put something like this somewhere in the middle of just randomly? Why do I like that? Oh, that's a problem. I shouldn't like it as much as I do, but I like it. Just off in the corner like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I have a problem. I think I'm going insane. I think that's what it is. Like, I just want to be very... I don't know. What's the word? Chaotic? I want to be chaotic today. I think that's what's happening right now. You see, I say very chaotic, but all I did was put a table in the corner and that was it. Everything else is basically normal. Now, the sides are gonna bother me. Okay, what if we did something like that? Is that weird? That might be a little weird. I think it would be better just to put a splash wall and then put shelves. Shelves always save the day for some reason. And uh, I'm not complaining. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I'm going to go with it for now. I know that the reds and the blue be clashing a little bit, but it does kind of tie it in, I guess. I I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll do this kind of brown. I'll, I'll just leave it there for now. Maybe I'll change it later if I remember. If not, then we're stuck with it. Okay, I kind of overdid it with the plans as you can see here. I did not 
not know what to do with this wall. I tried to put a bookshelf here, but it felt like it was too bulky. It definitely is like stood out compared to like this. So I ended up moving this over from over here, just putting plants and just kind of hoping it worked. And it, it kind of does, it kind of doesn't. Like realistically, it would be more like something like this because this does open. I think it opens outward instead of inward, but we can go ahead and just move this over a little bit like that. And then that should pretty much do it. And you know, they, they love their plants, so it's going to just be plant central up in here okay i know too much plants i personally would actually live in here i'm not gonna lie i actually do like this house a lot i mean apartment is this a town it's a townhouse i'm <laughs> but I, I do like how this townhouse looks probably one of my favorites this is probably the best i've decorated out of all of them so far i would change the color scheme it is too much green in my opinion even though i'm the one who decorated it but we don't have to talk about it but i do kind of like it i think that, that's okay for now so let's start with the hall the hallway technically i can just bring this back up here as well these doors though they're gonna have to change to a darker color and no i'm just gonna change them first let's decide on colors what color do we want it do we want it to be green also i feel like the main person who lives here definitely would have kind of green i'm also not fond of this wood choice we're not doing it in this room okay so the bedroom i definitely think it, the bed should go in the middle that way it uses up a lot of space Base. Ooh, I like this one. I never get to use this bed. So this is a good opportunity for me to do so. Okay, what if we did something like that? Okay, and then we did something a little more high end. I think that's a little too high end. <laughs> I feel like this bed works because it matches the, the, the color of the base of the for the nightstand. And I could still use the nightstand. I'm just going to turn it a little bit so I can move it up a little bit more. Do we want something like this? Oh. Oh yes, I rarely ever get to use those. What if we put like a whole like wall like here? Does that make sense? A whole wall? <laughs> even though there's a wall there. What if we put a desk here? I think a desk would look lovely. And then a nice little like double bookshelf situation going on. Is that too much brown? The thing is, if I put the white, it doesn't match the off-white kind of green going on here. And I, I really don't like that. So we're just going to pretend that it's not a thing. We're also going to just put a laptop and we're going to put a nice little chair here. And that's kind of cute. I like that. I don't know why I've been liking that recently, but I do. And uh, I have no regrets. I kind of want to put a door here. I can leave it for now, but I, I do want to put a door there. Even though, like, a lot of my styles haven't been matching at all. I've just been going with what matches in terms of color. But I think it's just a win-loss situation at this point, okay? And then, of course, surprise, a plant! We could put this plant. We don't have this kind of plant yet. Okay, and it fits there, so yeah, you can stay there. Now the question is, what do I put in this side? Do I put more shelves? Ooh, I could do these and then put... Put a nice little table there if i can find oh wait 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 can i use this oh please are you clipping don't clip okay i think this room is pretty much complete what do you think so far i realized that these items actually didn't come in the same pack and i'm a little shook by it but at the same time i'm not surprised i don't know how i feel about that but uh, i'm gonna keep it and i'm probably going to go ahead and change the tile as well i could do something like this i suppose and then just keep it like that okay now let's move on to the bathroom and then we'll move on to the final bedroom see now that i'm looking at the orange tile i have no idea how i'm gonna work with it what goes with an orange tile okay take it back i don't know how to do the bathroom <laughs> if i put the door all the way at the corner i really don't like when the door is all the way in the corner but if it can't be helped then it can't be helped i could put this shower here the thing is i don't know how to work with this tile so never mind i'm not doing that uh um, I think I kind of like it so far. I just have to put a toilet somewhere. I realized a little too late that there might not be a beige colored toilet, which kind of sucks, which means I have to incorporate white somehow. And uh, it's not really working with what I need it for. The colors are completely different from one another, I just realized. Okay, I think I like it like this, but I don't like the tile anymore. And I kind of, I kind of want to change it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wait, I kind of like the black. Oh, no, this is no, this isn't gonna work out well. I already know. I'm out here trying to make it look all nice and stuff. And then I do something like this and it completely just throws it out the window. Okay, I already know. I'm changing everything to a darker color now. You know what? 
It didn't really turn out well. I'm going to keep it like this. We're moving on to the final room. And then we have the upstairs that I almost completely forgot about because I, I'm getting tired. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and say that maybe this is like a teen or something that lives here. It could even be like a guest bedroom. So let's try to make it like a little bit more fun colored oh i just realized what color the uh the wood of the bed is and i'm not fond of it let's try to match this luggage i really like this luggage side table for some reason i don't know it's like one of my favorite items in the game it really shouldn't be because because realistically it's not really fun well none of the side tables are functional but like in a uh usable sense would they be able to open it and like i don't know dress store stuff in it they'd have to take everything off of it they'd have to like do so i don't know do i want to put a tv in here no i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna put a mirror in here this is a guest room okay we're not gonna do all that i don't like that i can't center that there we go you see i <laughs> <laughs> I want to use this so bad. I really shouldn't. This is supposed to be a guest room. But guests appreciate this. Ooh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna regret it later, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> also, I don't know how I feel about the layout of this room. It's just weird. I think it's because the bed is like a single bed, so it's, it doesn't look as nice to me. But I like this bed. I never get to use it, so I'm gonna keep it. What if I did a half wall situation? Like I do something kind of like that. Now that the wall is here, this doesn't feel awkward. I don't know why. This is just how I am. I Hopefully it looks okay. I, they could get the bubble thing. Oh, I never get to use this. Oh, I'm gonna use it. Because it has a blue thing anyway, so it totally works. Ooh, I wish you were a little more gray. I'm going to ignore it for now because it does almost match. Like the grays are like getting lighter, but it, that's fine. Oh, I just I just love this cactus. I, I don't really like pay attention to cacti, but that is a cute cactus. I like it. If I could get something blue, like that oh you know i would be on it do i do something like this i kind of like the idea of that it's not practical like stuff could fall on them and then they're gonna get super mad and then you know what it's fine i'm gonna keep it okay i kind of like that and i'm not really gonna do much with the upstairs maybe just put like a rug in the middle i think that's okay we can keep it like that so uh everything is pretty much set we just gotta do the upstairs now i don't know what to put up here i like these windows though so i'm not gonna touch it okay that is this room complete and i actually really like how it turned out i wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out before but now that i see it complete and everything i think it's really lovely i think that's pretty much complete so let's go ahead and take a small tour into the build oh hello let's go ahead and take a tour into the building okay so first off we start on the bottom floor as you can see we have a bunch of the plants out on display and i think it's just really adorable that there are so many of them let's go ahead and change these colors real quick i thought i changed them but i guess not because i did want like a bit of cohesitivity i guess was that even a word cohesitivity who knows but um all the plants are out on display there would be price tags on them and whatnot if you want any of these plants you go ahead and bring them inside see i think this is quite lovely so far but yeah we go inside and it voila we are in the store part of the townhouse it is the first floor and then we go to our left and there's a bunch of like plants here for sale and you can just get some herbs that are in like these little cute little tin foil or tin foil tin can excuse me and then we go over here there's really nothing on here for now i don't really know if we can talk this or not i'm not sure but we're gonna go over here and it voila there's so much more on display for you to just pick and choose from i think this is really adorable that there's so many different colors and so many different variations of the same plant and uh, it's, it's just quite lovely but of course you're gonna walk down here there's another plant here not this one's not for sale this one's just on display okay well uh, but we do have more plants here i really like these pink ones i want one of these but that's not gonna happen and of course more plants on display here some more um there's a bit of like picture frames up in there that's just display okay the plants are for sale though and then more plants here isn't that lovely and of course there's more plants here if you want anything up here just let the cashier know they will just check you out in this cute little corner here and there's even some propagation going on actually i just realized that these are all propagating they're all in water that's pretty neat so there's a lot of propagation going on and then through here you can take a look if you would like i don't know if these plants could be on sale they could
could be. It depends on the owner. But uh, there's a lot of propagation going on up in here also. And then of course this is where they get the cuttings from the plants. And then they, of course that's where they transfer it into the water. And then these are desert roses. These are probably going to be on sale eventually. They are big enough. These are probably going to be like expensive though. Same thing with this plant though. But I really like this plant. And then of course they're growing this out. These are probably going to be the mother plants. These are what they're going to be taking the cuttings from and all that jazz and of course this is just storage so we're gonna just ignore it for now <laughs> so we go out here and then this is where their main garden is gonna be this is where they're growing like some aloe some monstera some cacti of course they have the big monstera here they're probably not even gonna touch that let's be real and then of course more plants here this is probably more decorational than anything but you can see there's a lot of aloe going on so of course they can get more cuttings and whatnot out here as well they don't have to go back inside it each time and yeah there's just a lot of plants going on and i love it like if i was here i'd buy the whole store and that's a problem because i don't have the money to be buying the entire store let's be real but we go upstairs to the second floor the main entrance isn't gonna be um all decorated or whatnot i just left it bare because i was like eh i didn't want too much happening in just this one little area so i just left it bare but of course going inside we are met with the dining room first i think the dining room is quite lovely i think it's super cute it's one of my favorite areas so far but i do like the kitchen as well and then we go into the living room you could go either here or here it's kind of a tight space but at the same time, it's not really tight. You can still fit through that super easily. I put this table here. I'm not moving it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be a little chaotic here and keep it there. I do like how it looks for some reason. I don't know why. I do love this living room. I just enjoy this entire floor. It's really pretty. And uh, I would probably like actually have my actual house like this if I had a layout like this. And then of course the little... Is this a porch? Balcony. This is a balcony, right? The little balcony. It's like decorated with plants and everything. I do love the plants. I, I just love the plants. So we go upstairs. The landing isn't really all that like decorated or anything, but like there wasn't really a lot of space and I didn't want to like over decorate it. So first we enter the bedroom, the master bedroom. I kind of like it. The only thing I would change is the rug, but the rug kind of matches. So I'm not too mad at it, but I do love how it looks. It's just nice. If anything, I would put a door here. I think a door would look nice out here, but it's fine. And then of course we have the, uh, the laundry room. Now the guest bedroom, it is a little, um, it's a little questionable i will admit we don't have to think about it too much if anything i would change this to black do we have like an actual black something that mat there we go there we go see it kind of matches so it we don't have to talk about the different tones that are going on as long as it kind of matches but uh there's a desk here for if they want to just write something or sit at a desk for no reason and it's only one bed okay it's not a double bed so you can't have two people in here if you want them to kind of just stack on top of each other then they could figure it out that way but we're not gonna think about it too much <laughs> that is the bedroom uh, the bathroom excuse me i do like it i don't know why if anything i'm mad at this rug but we don't have to talk about it so back out here we go up the stairs we see a plant behind the stairs because i just wanted to put one there and then we go upstairs even more and it's it, voila we have a um just a plant here and then a bench here i think it's kind of cute granted no one would want to sit out here because this thing would probably be super loud uh but i didn't want to completely block it off because like you know what if it breaks down they need to bring someone who can repair it and they have to go around and it's like i don't want to have to deal with that we go inside and then we have a nice little hangout area for everyone this is like the little party room i suppose there's a lot of alcohol going on up here you could definitely have a party up in here if anything i'd probably delete this table so there's more like standing space i suppose i don't really know i think it's fine just the way it is i think it's super cute i really like this room and then of course it goes out into the the winter themed like rooftop area and i don't know what's going on here anymore but anyway what did y'all think did you like like this build i think this is the best one out of all of them if anything i like the autumn one next and then the summer one the winter one eh it could have been better but yeah that is it for this episode i hope that y'all enjoyed it i'm knocking everything over would you stay in a place like this i think it's super cute would you sell plants yourself do you raise plants yourself i'm curious let me know in the comments down below hey why are you a brown color you're supposed to match there we go but yeah if you like this video and you want to see more by me go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below i hope that y'all are having a lovely day night evening whatever time of day you're currently watching this in my name is cloud and i'll see you in the next video of whatever i make